Sridham Transport Finance reported its earnings for the second quarter. Its net profit went up by about 25 percent and net interest income, however, went down by about 3 percent. Overall, they've been uh, managed to put out a decent performance in a tight environment. So the managing director of the company, Mr. Umesh Rivankar, is here with us. Uh, sir, first of all, a very happy Dhanteras to you and a very happy Diwali. Uh, and to talk about the earnings, uh, your AOM growth, that is almost muted in the quarter. So could you talk to us about the quarter gone by and uh, the overall environment that shaped up the quarter? Yeah, uh, last quarter, uh, uh, if, uh, the, there has been delay in monsoon and there is uh, con also a good monsoon, I should say, because uh, the monsoon continued till October. So the normally the demand comes back by September because uh, once monsoon ends, the demand comes. That got delayed, but, uh, but there is nothing to really worry because the delayed uh, monsoon, uh, since there is excess or rains across the country and well distributed monsoon it should augur well for q3 and q4 and last quarter because of this extension of monsoon many of the activities like infrastructure mining uh, it got delayed the start of these normally happens in september it got delayed therefore there has been some uh, uh, lower disbursement this year because of the same However, the normal disbursement which we do in the uh, uh, rural market, semi-urban market, in the used vehicle that continue to be growing at double digit. Only the new vehicle lending, uh, which depends upon uh, the bulk transportation and infrastructure and real estate, that is a little uh, muted or there is less lack of demand there. And I feel that will come back in the Q3 and Q4. So uh, overall, the last quarter has been very satisfactory for us uh, in spite of the challenges. Uh, so, sir, going forward, um, uh, how do you see the AUM's growth shaping up? And before that, how much were the disbursements this time around and what kind of trend did you see? Was there uh, a degrowth as far as disbursements is concerned? No, the uh, disbursement has been uh, positive Q on Q, if you look at uh, Q uh, uh, quarter one to quarter two, the disbursement has uh, gone up marginally. Uh, the disbursement has, growth has been very strong in used vehicle, but uh, not uh, very, uh, not really in a new vehicle, because new vehicle demand has been lower. And we are also very conservative in new vehicle funding. Uh, our uh, uh, margin requirement we have increased because we felt that uh, the used vehicle uh, um, uh, demand or market right now is not really uh, strong. Earning is not so strong enough to uh, the, uh, give enough income to the new vehicle. That's what we feel. But however, the used vehicle demand uh, has been quite good. So we continue to focus on the used vehicle and creating more reach. So we are going to add, we have already added uh, more branches in the Q2 also. So the more reach is going to help us in Q3 and Q4 for faster growth. Sir, because of the slowdown uh, in the auto industry, a trend that's emerging is that couple of the lenders are actually flocking towards the used vehicles market. So we've seen, uh, you know, some of the major lenders also step into this, this segment and the existing NBFCs who are into the business increasing their focus on the same. So do you see competition increasing for you in this segment? Uh, we don't really see any competitive intensity as of now because the market is so large, uh, the reach uh, also is uh, so low by the organized player. There is enough scope and opportunity. We believe our market share in used vehicle is around 25% uh, in most of the country and some, country, uh, some part of the country in south it could be 30%. That means 65 to 70% of the market is still open. So we have not really seen uh, competitive intensity and we will definitely continue to grow because of better network and reach and uh, expertise in used vehicle lending. Uh, Sir, so just one last question. Your NPAs have increased in the quarter. So going forward for the balance of the year, how do you see the trend shaping up? 
see the uh, stage 3 increase from 8.52 to uh, 8.8 .8, that is around 28 basis point more is mainly uh, due to the um, some bucket movement the bucket movement is happening because of the uh, onset of late monsoon and continuation of monsoon uh, withdrawal a uh, little later uh, that created some disturbance in the normal pattern of the earning therefore there was some movement I, I don't think I think it's a temporary it will not be uh, having a, a big uh, bearing on us so Q3 and Q4 should be really good I believe uh, we should be able to uh, uh, come to a uh, much better position our uh, the uh, the gro the gross three stage uh, which is reaching 8.8 .8 now it sh should improve in the month of uh, in the q3 and q4 mr devankar thank you so much for speaking to us sir and uh, it was a pleasure talking to you thank you thank you